so Hydro, what's the purpose of today's test? So today's testing, we're looking at four different blast scenarios. Um, firstly, the NIJ blast test. Secondly, um, 10 kilos at a three meter standoff. And then one kilo at one meter, two kilos at two meters. Hi City, so can you talk to me a bit about the location that we're in today? Uh, yeah, sure. We're in uh, Salisbury Plains on the uh, the designated um, demolitions range, which is purposely built for uh, explosive testing. And as an EOD operator, why do you think testing is important for when, when purchasing products? Uh, well, you know, all sorts of products uh, or equipment before you use them, you want to know uh, that it is going to do exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, and the only way to, to, to ensure that is to... Uh, it's gone through, you know, to know that it's gone through rigorous testing uh, to a certain standard, uh, which is, you know, very important. It gives you confidence uh, and it certainly helps you do your job uh, correctly. And does NPR Space do a lot of testing on all of its products? Yes, we certainly do. So um, this range of testing we've previously done on our 4020 suits. But yeah, this is a fairly standard procedure for us. Um, it, it goes beyond what the NIJ standard requires and, and certain other companies as well um, but it, it allows to get a full view of how these suits perform against a variety of different scenarios. Can you tell me a bit about the test setup today? Uh, yeah, so today we're using a uh, hybrid 350% oil dummy which is 50% uh, average human being which is uh, your average male. Um, we got them set up today with 16 uh, internal sensors in the head, chest, uh, pelvis position of ac that's accelerometers. Uh, so we have nine accelerometers, and then we have a neck load cell which gives load and moment about points, and then we have a chest deflection pot. And how's the testing gone so far today? Yeah, it's gone really well, uh, luckily. <laughs> yep, the first one we done was the NIJ testing and uh, yeah, the, the helmets and the plates remained intact. Um, we then undressed the suit using the quick release system and saw that there was no damage done to the mannequin inside. Yeah. Were there any parts of the suit that you thought performed particularly well? Um, I, I thought the entire suit performed uh, exceptionally well. Uh, certainly the uh, proximity of the, the charge to the plate and the, the helmet. Uh, well, I was expecting a lot more damage, especially to the visor, which, uh, you know, there was no penetration whatsoever. Joe, the test that we're setting up today, talk us through what's going to happen here. Yep, so this is the second of our blasts today. Um, this is a 10 kilogram P4 explosive charge at a 3 metre standoff for standing um, test. So this is one of the most extreme tests for the suit. How do you think it went? 
Yes, I'm very happy with the results. Um, it looks like the suits have seen quite a big displacement. They look to have moved backwards a fair degree. Um, we'll be looking at the high speed footage to see how, uh, how we can explain that. Um, but yeah, the suits have survived really well. Um, the, the helmets are intact and in place. The um, breastplates are intact and in place. And we haven't seen any opening or any scorching of any of the undersuits. So um, certainly very promising from this initial outset. Okay, City, so as an operator, um, being as you've been involved in the test today, what do you think of the results? Uh, yeah, generally impressed. Uh, really, you know, uh, 10 kilograms of explosives uh, with the uh, suit uh, three meters away and the suit, you know, remained intact throughout. Uh, it's, it's quite encouraging, uh, very encouraging, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, nothing, uh, no, all positive uh, from, from where I am. Thank you.